Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do another little vlog and today is... I don't know where my phone is, I think my phone's on charge. And that's it. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> today is the 15th of January and it is quarter to three. And I was going to go pick my up from school but my hair is still a bit damp. Um, so my mum has gone to pick her up instead of just being in the shower and washing my hair. And all that palaver. I'll show you what I've used actually because um, I don't think this vlog is going to be that long today because obviously it is so late on in the day and I'm at work 6 till 8. So I'll just show you some like beauty things that I've used today. So I'll show you what I use in the shower. So for my body I use the Ted Baker body wash. This looks like this and it smells phenomenal. It's like a clear gel consistency. It will be in an upcoming video. This video might be up before it, but it will be in a haul rather in a what I got for my Christmas video or just like a random haul because I did buy this out of my Christmas money. So I don't know which video to put it in yet. I haven't recorded either yet, but I used this and it smells like so good. <laughs> now for my hair, it is really frizzy at the moment because I quickly blow dried it, didn't blow dry it properly. It's kind of just like all over the place. Um, so my hair has gone like pretty frizzy, which it normally does if I do blow dry it like upside down and all over the joint. But I did use a John Frieda Shea Blonde Colour Renew Toned Correcting Shampoo, which just looks like this. And this is meant to help with colour treated blondes, obviously I am as you get highlights. And it's meant to get rid of any of the brassiness and I don't know if you can tell, like my hair has like loads of different tones in it. So it helps to stop it looking like brassy like coppery and um like gingery and stuff like that it just helps to bring more of the blonde out in it i think it's okay but i don't think i'd repurchase it again because it hasn't wowed me it's just kind of all right and then the conditioner i use is the free from frizz thick slash coarse blow dry conditioner in the scent mango and this smells phenomenal it's oh it's so nice i've done a blog post on this so i will leave a link down below to it and I have featured it in like favourite videos before and this is like in my backups kind of drawer um, of things that, because I'm trying to get through my minis first and this is in my backups drawer because I've just used up a conditioner I normally use this conditioner obviously because I've used that one up now I can get stuff out of my backup drawer I forgot how much I really liked it normally like my ends feel so much smoother than the top because I haven't conditioned the top but I really really like this and the scent is really really nice as well now as for makeup today, because I was going to film you doing my makeup to show you, um, it's like a little vlog kind of get ready with me, but obviously I thought I was picking Millie up so I like literally, and I mean like put this on in like 10 minutes maximum, because I was in that <laughs> much of a rush thinking oh my god I still need to dry my hair, I'm not going to make it till I get to the school in time. So I started off with the number 7 Instant Radiance Foundation, as you can see I'm getting to the end of this, which I'm so happy about because I've been trying to... Um, use foundations up instead of dipping and dabbing between different <laughs> different foundations. This is in the shade Calico, which is the same shade that I'm in for all of number seven ones. I set that in place with my Real Techniques powder brush and of course my Benefits Hella Flawless powder foundation in the shade I Love Me Ivory, which just looks like this, which I absolutely love. So for funding my eyes, I use the MAC for long wear concealer in the shade NC20 and to rub that in I use a Real Techniques sponge it really needs washing Um, I don't know if it's <laughs> just been overused a bit too much and might need binning but I'm still using it for the foundation I use a stippling brush to apply it with so it was like a lighter coverage next I went in with bronzer and I use as you'll have seen in many videos now the Galan Terracotta Four Seasons Natural Brunette Natural Brunette Bronzer in the shade 03, which just looks like this. And I use, obviously, the Evil Techniques Blusher Brush to blend this in with. As you know, this is like my go-to brush for bronzing up the skin. And for contouring a little bit, Tim. To set my concealer underneath my eyes in place, I used the Anastasia Contour Kit. And this is in the shade Light. I believe it was the first one that came out. And I used this banana shade here, and then just a flat brush to apply it with as you can see because you can still see the powder on it <laughs> and for blusher I used my Z palette and I used a little brush from eBay which cost a pound and I used the dandelion blusher from Benefit for highlighter I used the Mary Luminizer by The Balm which is no I absolutely love which just looks like this I don't know if it's focusing and then for my brows I used the Isla Brow Amplifier in the number 30 Blonde 
I've done a very, very light coat of mascara today because I was in such a rush. And this is the Bourjois Volume One Second Mascara in Ultra Black. And then to set it all in place, it's something that I've been loving recently. And it's a Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Spray, which just looks like this. And I did about two, maybe four sprays of this all over my face. Set it all in place. So that was like my quick every day in a rush gotta get out of the house kind of makeup look for my hair i'm not gonna bother anything i'm not gonna bother anything on my lips maybe a bit of lip balm and that's about it thank you so much for watching i just want to do a little video today just show you what i've used in the shower and show you what makeup i've been using for like go to in a rush gotta get out of the door school run to do kind of makeup <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye guys